And when someone is transitioning to a place of their own, it can often be overwhelming. Now with a recent grant, one home goods bank in Old Town is working to lessen that stress. New Center Maine's Caroline LaCour met with volunteers to see how they're giving back. What makes a roof over your head a home? In Old Town, Welcome to Housing Home Goods Bank is working to answer that question as a provider of free furniture and home goods to those in need. I have a lot of people that come to visit and it needs to be something that they need and we have it for them. You know? It's a blessing actually. Christopher Olson is the founder and has been with Welcome to Housing for 11 years. Earlier this year, the group finally bought its building and is now juggling costs for the program. We used to have just liability insurance, now we have building insurance, we have a lot of different utility costs, but we're still all volunteer. Now with a recent grant of $15,000 from the American Rescue Plan Act, volunteers can now focus on helping clients rather than finances. From bedding, kitchenwares, holiday decorations, and even medical equipment, volunteers make sure items are displayed so that others can take them home. We get some really nice stuff, beautiful stuff. Um, so for them to, you know, go home and then it's set up and to them it's like, wow, you know, I would have never thought I'd get something like this free in my home. If Welcome to Housing does not have an item that a client needs, Olson says they will also be using grant money to purchase it and to rent trucks to pick up donations. And we bring back thousands and thousands of dollars worth of items. We empty out houses, we get beds from hotels, and uh, the amount of community support and the support of the volunteers here is absolutely incredible. In the future, Olson hopes to hold life skill classes in their upstairs and hopes to connect with other furniture banks around Maine. In Old Town, Caroline LaCour, News Center, Maine. The grant was given by the Penobscot County Commissioners and the funds have been granted to eight other nonprofits.